Hey you beautiful people, how's it going and welcome to a new video. So in today's video we're going to be opening one of the new cards that was added which is Bijou, which is French for jewellery and naturally it gives you a cluster jewel. So it comes rolled since it's uh, yellow on the text there, item level 84 so there is a lot of potential with it because I level 84 jewels are quite valuable if you get the right ones with the right you know um, amount of passives on there. So for instance if we get a minion 12 passive I level 84 those are typically really really good. So um, before I get started opening this one, I just want to say a big thank you to my King Patreon supporters, Sen, Nexi, Malta K, and Desire. Big shout out to you guys. Thank you so much for the support and let's get cracking. So let's just quickly look at POE Ninja. So we have minions deal 10% increased damage, 12 passives, I level 84. As said, this is eight exalts. Uh, we also have the 6% increased mana reservation efficiency of skills. So, um, yeah, this is 3.2, apparently. I kind of thought Aura Stacking was dead, so I'm surprised that's that expensive, but uh, shows what I know about the game, right, guys? So, yeah, minion steel damage, 11 passive, 8 passive. These are all good. If we just hit one of these ones, then we've pretty much uh, made profit from up to here, and then anything with 8 passives down. Well, these are 75 and 85, so, yeah. If we hit any of these, we're just in, in Profitville. That's basically the way the, you know, the cook is going to go for us. So, yeah, should we get to opening and see what we get? Kind of excited for this one. Already know what I'm gonna hit. Absolutely nothing. But alas. Right, Lily Roth, Navali, rip. First one. Small cluster. Oh, I have to ID them. Small cluster lightning with absolutely nothing on it. I will price check them after and just show you just how much I've made. Increased effect of curses, three passives, that's a shame. We get a lot of small clusters. It can give you any one of them, of course. Large 10 passive fire damage. Six passive crit chance, six passives typically not very good on media. I don't know why. For some reason, guys, I'm just trying to ID my uh, my div cards. So, um, yeah, it's been a long day. Next. Three passive maximum life. Mana, res re re the mana reservation efficiency would go a long way. Five passive. See, that one's fine, but this one isn't typically used, I don't think. Maybe it is. We'll find out in the end. Nine passive minion. See, that one is worth some money. Let's have a look what's on it. Absolutely nothing. So... Uh, let's just take a look, see if this is working, because trade's been a bit iffy now. It has been all week, to be fair. We need to click that as well. Yeah, classic trade at work right now. Matched 41, and it doesn't want to show up. Right, hello. I need to update it, I guess. I'll do it afterwards. All right, cracking up. Next one. Fizz damage, nine passive. Uh, I think this one gets used, but nine passives is not, not too good for that. Medium damage over time. And the last one item damage is that worth a lot i don't know does uh the ballista totem use this or not i have no idea with totems guys i hate totem play style so i'm never going to play that which is ironic since you know i'm using minions doesn't look like it's really worth anything Let wait we need to check the item level don't we ah 15 18 c so i'm pretty sure we've made profit with this but yeah i'll come back in a sec guys with a price check and give you a just a little breakdown on how much we made or lost Okay, guys, so let's get into it. I've just price checked them on the website. This physical damage one here is about 10 chaos. These on the left are all pretty much under 4C, which is kind of sad. Um, the totem one is actually about 20C, so that's pretty pog. And then the minions, a deal 10% increased damage one, is um, unfortunately only about 40C. So nine passives is kind of a, a miss. 10, um, sorry, 12 would have been obviously the GG jackpot, and eight would have also been over 100C. So kind of unlucky. But, you know, what do you expect from such a broad card like, um, you know, Cluster Jewel? Because you can get anything in the game. But, yeah, so if I put it on a spreadsheet, there's not much to talk about. It would have been 70C. It cost me around 90 to 100C to buy all of the cards for about 3, 4C. Um, so there's definitely potential here. Uh, just um, not for me, apparently. So that's it anyway, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Nice short video. And, yeah, that's just about it from me. Take care. Goodbye.